Okay guys, so today we're gonna make biste con chile verde, which is basically steak with uh, green chili. These are your ingredients for your meat. Half of a medium onion, three garlic cloves, hojas de laurel, Worcestershire sauce, pepper, and garlic. You get your steak and you um, cut it into bite-sized pieces. At this point, your pan should be warming up with about four tablespoons of oil. So in this case, I'm using three pounds of the esmillo, and I'll write down at the bottom which type of meat that is in English. I'm not sure how to call it. At this point, your pan is warm. You can feel it, and you get your meat. Be careful, it's really hot. You have to hear that sizzle. Okay, so now you've got your meat in here, and you're gonna add your garlic salt. And you're gonna add your pepper. Don't be shy with the pepper. And you're also gonna add your uh, Worcestershire sauce. This gives it a great flavor. I don't know, about a tablespoon. Also, while I was cutting the meat, I put to boil 10 tomatillos and about five chile serranos. In my case, I put 10 and 10. Let the meat cook on medium high and let all the juices evaporate. Once they evaporate, we're gonna add your onion, garlic, and hojas de laurel. Remember to bring your serranos out first because we're going to blend them with the garlic and some onion before you add your tomatillos, okay? So you have your serranos, one-fourth of an onion, some garlic, and some salt. We'll blend that first. Add about a half of a cup of water and blend away. You got your chile, oop, fuck, sorry. You got your chile, blend it well, and then you're gonna add your tomatillos at pulse, remember? Never mind my cursing, fuck, oops. Okay, now that your chile is blended, you add your tomatillos, and remember to just pulse. They're super soft anyway, they're not gonna go. Hi Gina, you okay? Okay, now we're gonna come over here, oh, this bitch is hot. Get another one, don't burn yourself. And now all your juices have dried out. Meat is now on a frying mode, so you give your garlics a, a good smash. Don't leave them whole. So this is why you smash them up really good, because that way when you rough chop them, they don't go all over the place. Then you get your half of a medium onion and cut it into slices. Oops, fuck, I'll chop my finger off. Okay, well you get it. So now your meat is really fried up. You see this? This is when you add your onion, your garlic, and your hojas de laurel, bay leaves. Okay, so you got your meat and you're letting it fry up. This is a good point to get a piece of meat and taste it for salt and pepper, okay? Ouch. And this is the reason Gina sits and waits. I pulled up a piece for her. Here you go, mama. For being a good doggy. Isn't she great? So I moved Gina back a little bit. A good way to tell when your meat is ready is a couple of the pieces will be burnt and your uh, onion is translucent. And you can add a, another half a cup of water if you want it a little bit more juicy. So bring it to a vigorous boil like this for about, I don't know, 30 seconds and then put it at low, cover it. So cover it, um, I don't know, for about 30 minutes or until meat is very soft and tender. I've got some brown rice cooking and we'll wait for this. Please remember to subscribe, like, or comment for Gina. As usual, the normal struggle is real.